Hey everyone, so this is going to be part two of my subscription box unboxings for the month of January. This time I have my BoxyCharm, my Rocks box, and a new subscription called Deck of Scarlet, um, which I'm actually going to talk about first. So Deck of Scarlet is a new subscription. This one, however, is not a monthly subscription. It's actually bi-monthly, so you get one every two months. Um, this is what the box looks like. This was sent to me, um, and I haven't actually had a chance to play with anything yet, so you guys will get to see with me. Um, but this subscription is $29.95. You do get a makeup palette every two months, which is really cool, um, and the value is supposed to be $150. So we'll see together if that is the case or not. Um, and when you open up the box, it looks like this. I I was very impressed with just how it was presented. The box is really sturdy. It just felt really luxe. Um, it says you are in on this card as well as on the box. So we have this card here that you'll get every month and each month um, the palette is actually going to be created with a different artist in chief and this season um, it was created with Sandra Deluxe and on the back is her picture and a little note from her. So now on to the actual palette. Like I said it's packaged really nicely on top there's a really thick piece of this foam which is really nice. So it looks beautiful. It says Deck of Scarlet, Sandra Deluxe and it has this like rose um, picture on the background and we also have I think this is like a lip liner or an eyeliner it's an eyeliner so we will get to that really quickly but first I want to get into the palette so we pull this out and again everything is just placed in here so nicely like you don't have to worry about this breaking or anything I feel like this is really going to protect it so again we have our palette as well as an eyeliner I just have to admire this cover here. Um, this sleeve has that like rubberized texture feel to it. And like I said, it's in collaboration with Sandra Deluxe. Um, every palette that they do, they collaborate with a top YouTuber, which is really cool because that YouTuber will actually film a tutorial using the palette. Um, so you guys can get ideas for how to use the colors, kind of um, an idea for like looks that you can achieve. So I think that that's really cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the sleeve and reveal the palette which is beautiful as well um, it's it also has kind of like that rubberized feel to it, it has metallic like details um, in the writing it's a deck of scarlet here made in the USA um, so that's really cool it just feels very nice and well put together it's really sturdy one thing I will say though the palette itself is quite heavy in my opinion um, so if you're traveling with it it's going to it's gonna add a lot of weight to your luggage so I'm um, just keep that in mind but as far as just a palette on its own I mean it definitely feels very luxe like I said so without further ado let's get into the palette I love that it has two like lid flaps on it um, and that's really smart because underneath this smaller one you can see are the lip products so while you're using your powder products uh, which tend to get messy just in general with palettes you don't have to worry about it getting into the lip products so I think that was a really smart design idea on their part you also have a really nice size mirror on top so I believe the configuration is going to be the same from palette to palette you'll get two lip colors um, this on their website says that they retail for $14 each you'll also get three eyeshadows and those retail for $16 each two cheek products and these are $20 each and you also get two liners a lip liner and an eyeliner and those are $17 um, so altogether it's $150 value um, and the subscription is only $29.95 and that includes free shipping another thing I do want to mention is that you can actually skip and cancel anytime you want which I think is great um, they say that if you don't like the colors that you're gonna get that in that palette you can go ahead and skip that which I think is is fantastic because you don't really get that option with a lot of subscriptions so I think that's cool you're not gonna be sent something that you know you won't use if that makes any sense so I think that's cool so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these babies which is really hard for me when it comes to palettes because when they're pretty and brand new like especially the cream products like I don't want to touch it like it's just it looks perfect and I don't want to mess it up but I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'll do the powder products first so we don't like mess up these beautiful lip colors just yet. Um, so every month you'll get three different eyeshadows. This month, this eyeshadow over here is called Maya. This one is called Eh. Um, and this one is called Black Roses. And like I said, there is like an accompanying um, tutorial. So it'll give you an idea on how to use these colors together. And of course, you can incorporate um, these shades with other things in your collection or incorporate other things from your collection into this palette as well. So yeah, so let's go ahead and give these eyeshadows a swatch. 
So this first one is called Maya, and this one is kind of like a frosty, shimmery finish. It's a really pretty color. This next color next to it is a matte eyeshadow, and it's kind of like this deep, kind of reddish color. And typically, I don't use colors like this on my eyes, so it'll be interesting to kind of play around with it. And this one is called E, eh, which is spelled E-H apostrophe. Um, and it looks like this. It's really pretty. The pigmentation is actually really nice and it feels really smooth. I will say though that this matte shade, the second one here, does feel a little bit dry. Um, but the Maya did go on really smooth and it felt like really soft. Um, and this other, this last color here is called Black Roses, which is also a matte. And it does have that same texture as the second color here. As you can see, very, very pigmented. So pigmentation's pretty good. Um, like I said, the two matte shades do feel a bit dry, but none of them have been like really flaky, so that's really cool. But I do really like the texture of the Maya the best. So now let's swatch these cheek products. So this one here is called Montego Bay, and this is like your cheek color or blush. Um, it looks kind of like, like a lighter, like bronzer color as well. So if you have lighter skin, you could probably use it as a bronzer. And this one over here is a highlighter in the color Shimmy Ya. So let's go ahead and swatch these. So there's a swatch of it there. It's definitely more of like a peachy, kind of orangey, like bronze color. And then I'll go ahead and swatch this highlight shade next to it. And this one also has the same texture, which is really nice. You can see that's really nice. That's actually a really nice color. And there's that swatched there. It's a little bit difficult to see because it is lighter, but it's a really pretty kind of like, um, like, ivory peachy like highlight shade um not too like in your face shimmery or anything like that so that's great um you can also use these as eyeshadows as well obviously and i just grabbed a couple of um brushes so i can swatch these lip colors so this first one here is called scrumptious and this one is called woo um this one is really pretty it's like this really dark like vampy like burgundy color and this one's like a really nice kind of peachy nude so i'll go ahead and swatch these So the pigmentation of that looks pretty good. Um, it's really creamy, and like I said, it's kind of like a peachy nude color. Not sure how well that will work on my skin tone. Um, and I'll go ahead and swatch the other one. That is like super dark and vampy, and that's actually a really pretty color. In the um, palette, it looks definitely more red, but swatched, it has more of this like berry tone to it, which is really, really nice. So I definitely like it better swatched. So those are the colors in the palette. So these colors I personally wouldn't have chosen myself. So if I had gotten a preview of this, I probably would have skipped it just because these colors I don't normally wear um, on a regular basis. I feel like they're definitely more for like a night out or something like that. Um, but again, that's great because if you see that the colors aren't something you're going to use, you can actually skip it yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this lip liner. This is in the color Heartless. And this is one of those um, retractable ones, which is great. So it's an automatic liner, um, which I definitely prefer. So I'll go ahead and swatch that right here. This glides on really nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch this eyeliner. This is in the color Anarchy, which is this dark black color. And I'm assuming, yeah, every month that you're going to get a different color. So it's really nice and black. It's a very matte eyeliner, which is nice. So if you don't like that kind of like shiny look to your liner, um, this one is really, really dark and very matte. So there's a look at the January, February palette from Deck of Scarlet. Um, there was a palette previous to this, and if you're interested in either of those, um, you can actually pick them up still on the Deck of Scarlet website, which I will link down in the description box below in case you want to check it out and get more information. Um, like I said, it's $29.95 um, a box, and a box comes once every two months. You can skip or cancel at any time. Um, they say it's $150 value. To be honest with you, though, I honestly do don't see that as far as you know money wise these eyeshadows are pretty small and to pay $16 a piece for them I think is is a little bit expensive like I said these lip products um, I'm not sure how they would compare in size um, to like a full-size lipstick or gloss but like I said $14 I think is a bit high as well these cheek products are those are a decent size so I think that's nice and then these um, liners are full size as well um, but still as far as 
that value goes, I'm not 100% sure I would agree with that. Um, but you do get a full palette for um, $30 a month, free shipping. These um, products are made in the USA, which is nice. There are They are also 100% cruelty free as well. Um, so something to look at. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have heard of Deck of Scarlet. If you're subscribed to it, what are your thoughts? Um, I would love to know. But yeah, that's it for this month. Now let's move on to BoxyCharm, which is very exciting. It's one of the ones I look forward to every month. Um, so the card says, and the Charm Award goes to, and so I guess that is the theme for this month, list of products as always. Everything is bubble wrap, so it's nice and protected. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this little bundle first. So inside that little package, actually have two products. So the first one is from Vintage by Jessica Liebskin. Um, and I got a product from this brand a couple of months ago. This is the Illuminating Face Highlighter Set. And I really love the packaging for this brand. I just think it's really nice. It's like this really pretty like creamy color and then gold like foiling um, as far as the logo goes. And this is what it looks like. So for you highlighter fans, I'm sure you guys are really excited. This is full size and this retails for $35 and the colors in this palette are rose quartz and chocolate diamond so i'm seeing this is the rose quartz which is more of this like pinky gold color and this one's like a more bronzy gold color it's really really pretty i actually went ahead and brought out the other product that i got a couple months ago from this same brand it's also a highlighter this one is in the color rose gold and this one's really pretty as well so you guys can see their um, size comparison too like this one's what like one full size one looks like and this one's like a double obviously so each one's a little bit bit smaller but still huge sizes we'll definitely get a lot of use out of them um, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these and I'll even swatch the rose gold one again so you guys can compare it you can see it's really really pigmented really pretty colors um, and you can definitely use these as eyeshadows as well which I think I'm going to do so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one too so you can see there so there they are swatched on my hand this one is rose gold this one's chocolate diamond and this one is rose quartz um, very very pretty colors and I also got another face product this one is from pure cosmetics this is their mineral glow bronzing powder and I've, I've actually grown grown to really like the pure cosmetics brand so I'm excited to try this I don't own this yet and this is full size as well and this one retails for $25 and this is in the color mineral glow like I said so I don't think there are different shades, but this is what it looks like. I would have preferred a matte bronzer. Um, I feel like that's a little bit more versatile. This one looks like it does have a shimmer to it, but we'll go ahead and give it a swatch. It's very smooth, which I like. Almost has more of like a golden undertone to it. So I'll go ahead and swatch it actually next to these highlighters. So there it is swatched right there. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, and the color is a little bit more on the kind of golden side. Um, so it has a little bit of like an oranginess to it. So I don't really know how well this will look on my skin tone. Um, I might use it just really light-handedly on top of like my bronzer. And not just as my sole bronzer because I think just the color is going to be a bit too dark. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like. I do really like the texture of it. It's very smooth. We also have a fan brush in here. And everybody got a fan brush. Um, there were two different brands you could have gotten. The one I have is from So Susan. You could have also gotten another one from Crown Brush, I think. I can't remember. But this one um, is um, a $18.95 value. And I think that's nice because obviously they gave us that um, highlight palette. So you can use this with that. The brush itself is very soft. Um, and it's quite thin. Whoops. Um, so it's really just going to deposit a very light dusting of product. So... That's nice. Um, we also have in here, um, it's from Ades, which I have tried this brand before. I got a nail polish in an Ipsy, and honestly, I was not impressed at all. Um, they said it was like a gel effect polish, and it just, it chipped within like a couple of hours. It was pretty horrible. Um, so I don't have high hopes for this, but I will give it a try. This one is Organic Infused Nail Treatment Essentials. Excuse me. This is their, this one's actually their Ultra Suede Matte Top Coat. Um, so it's not a nail color, it's just a matte top coat. Um, I 
let's see i haven't used a matte top coat in a really long time let's actually go ahead and swatch it over my nails right now but i'll go ahead and let that dry and we will revisit that in a little while but this is full size um, and this retails for $18. Like I said, the polish I tried wasn't so happy with it. Hopefully the top coat is a little bit better. And then this is actually the final product in here. And this is from Glow for a Cause. This is their body butter in the scent Dream, which I don't know if um, they sent the same scent to everyone. But this one, I guess it's full size as well. And this retails for $14. It's not that big though. Um, but I guess it, it is full size. Let's go ahead and give that a sniff. It, it smells nice. It smells really clean, um, kind of soapy. <laughs> it's not a bad scent, but it's nothing like super special or anything like that. But let's go ahead and see how this feels texture wise. So I do like the texture of it. It's very moisturizing. It's it's really thick, but it's very, very smooth and it doesn't feel greasy at all. So I do like that. Let's go ahead and revisit this matte top coat. You can see here on my ring finger, it did mattify. And I kind of like the effect that it has on that holographic polish. It, it looks pretty neat. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see how well this wears, I guess. Hopefully better than the nail color that I got. But yeah, I kind of like that. I might start mattifying a lot of my like holographic shimmer polishes to kind of make it more subtle. It, it looks pretty cool. So this is the January BoxyCharm. Um, I, I really like this highlight palette. I think it's really pretty and the brush is a nice um, tool to use with it. Um, but honestly, this isn't my favorite BoxyCharm box. I definitely think that we've got we've gotten better ones in the past. Um, it's not a bad one at all. The value is still definitely there, um, which is great. But like I said, it's just not my favorite. But I'll still get a lot of use out of these products. And last but not least, I have my rocks box to share with you. Um, I haven't done a rocks box unboxing in a really long time because I actually put it on hold, which um, is nice. I didn't know I could do that, but I was on vacation for a while, so I put it on hold and it just restarted again. Um, so let's get into it. I have used a couple of these pieces already because I couldn't resist. I really, I get excited when a new rocks box comes. So the first piece I have um, is actually a pair of earrings, and these are from Kendra. Scott and I have a lot of her pieces on my wish list. This is a little card that they sent you um, and these are actually the Kendra Scott Bexley earrings in rose gold and ivory mother of pearl. Um, they retail for $75 but the member price is $67 and they're really pretty. I love the unique shape of them. I love the rose gold accents. It's just really pretty. Um, they look really nice on um, but I will say these are a bit heavy um, for my taste compared to some of the other like Kendra Scott earrings I have these definitely feel a lot heavier and that's probably because the stone itself is a lot thicker maybe just the mother of pearl is heavier in general I'm, I'm really not sure but they're a bit heavy and as much as I love them they're really really pretty um, I probably won't keep these just because they are um, they're heavy um, so yeah those were those and those I did have on my wish list and it's cool because th I think this is new they'll show you like which wishes were granted so which items you had on your wish list and then if it doesn't say that then it's an item that they just included because um, they thought it would work well with the pieces um, there's also another Kendra Scott piece in here. Like I said, I have a lot of Kendra Scott on my wish list, so that's probably why they sent this one. Um, this one's also very pretty and really dainty and delicate. This is the Bridget necklace in rose gold and ivory mother of pearl. So that's probably why they sent it because it matches with the earrings and they do. This one's so pretty and so dainty. I just, I think that that is adorable. It's on a little bit of a shorter chain, but it does have an extension. This final piece I have here, I'm really tempted to keep because it's so pretty. This one is from Goriana and it says, look, I'm adjustable. And it says, bend me open or close, which is nice as far as like bracelets go. But look at how just delicate and dainty this is. Is. This was on my wish list. Let me give you guys just a closer look at this because it's so delicate and dainty. This is from Goriana. This is the Shimmer Bar Bracelet in Rose Gold. Retails for $50. The member price is $42. Like I said, I'm kind of tempted to keep this just because I just love like like dainty pieces like this and I'm actually just going to slip this on. It does have a chain on it, you can see, to help it from falling off because it is so small and dainty, but I just went ahead and slipped it on over that. But I just love how this looks. You could definitely layer this 
with other bracelets or just on its own. I love pieces like this that kind of blend in with your skin almost because they're so thin um, and delicate and it just had, adds a little bit of sparkle but not a huge amount. It's not like a statement piece or anything like that. It's just a great like everyday piece and I just think this is so pretty. So those are the three pieces that I got in my Rocks box this time around. And if you guys are interested in checking out Rocks box for yourself, I'll have a link down in the description box below. You guys can actually get your first month for free. Um, you can cancel at any time. So that brings us to the end of my unboxings for the month of January. If you guys want to see what I got in my Ipsy, Birch Box, Beauty Box 5, or Scentbird, I will link part one down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great month of subscription boxes. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the month of February will be even better. Hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.